Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are TU22, and we are here to propose our event, Job Jalan Jalan Selang. Next. So before going on about our event, we will cover a bit about our team. Uh, what started off as an adventure seeker, um, spreading joy, we now has grown into a group of passionate people who are um, striving to provide uh, <clears throat> exciting experiences. Next. Okay, so uh, we aim to be the uh, to have the strongest presence in Malaysia and the region of Asia, and also uh, we would like to promote the special events industry both locally and internationally. Next. Okay, so the objective of our event uh, focuses mainly on promoting and raising awareness of the local destinations around Solamo by creating an unforgettable tour experience. Next. For the target market, we aim to target local people who age between 16 to 60 years old. Aside from this, the people who are interested and curious about our events are welcome to join. Additionally, our stakeholder and sponsor are also welcome to join to ensure that they are satisfied with their sponsor. Next, I'll pass it to Atira. Okay, so uh, like mentioned earlier, our objective focuses on promoting and raising awareness. And how we measure our success of our event is by the number of attendees attending the event, as well as the level of satisfaction. And uh, we hope that we can achieve 80% participation and 60% level of satisfaction by the end of the event. And uh, we are also mindful of the situation, the COVID situation right now. So we will make sure that we are obeying any necessary SOP guidelines that are provided to us in order to organize this event. Next. So these are the two uh, proposed MCs that we have, Nadia and Naz, both of which are um, professionally well experienced in the hybrid events and speak fluently in English and Malay as well. Next, please. These are the five interactive activities, a 360 degree virtual tour, a virtual booth, and a virtual pasa. So just a brief description on virtual pasa. It's more or less the same thing for 360 virtual tour. And since this is a hybrid uh, event, we'd like the, um, both the attendees on site and online to be able to interact and go through um, information on restaurants and locations. And as for cinematic travel, they're basically uh, four to 10 minutes videos of specifically customized videos of the locations that we've proposed. And for the trivia game sessions, uh, they're basically hosted by the MC as a form of interaction between the attendees and the MC itself. Yeah. This is the miscellaneous. There are, there are actually additional choices, which are food packed by local business, traditional home batik pouch and face mask with childhood snack pack snacks. So each of the event itinerary has registration walk-in and opening speech followed by the session for two hours each. And there's closing speech and photo taking session lastly with networking session. So the first section is culture and heritage. Second section is eco tour. And the third section is the Kuala Selangor, next. So for the project timeline, that, uh, we will draft a proposal uh, on the May, uh, 2nd May to 9 May, and then we will find quotation 
and uh, followed by venue risk. We will start on designing a market uh, marketing collection materials on the May till the uh, till the event day, and also we will finalize the entire project on the sixth of June. Then we will start our ticket launching on the fourteenth of May until the event day. On the event day is sixteenth of July, and we will do our post event and post mortem and so on on the seventeenth of July until twenty of July. For the venue details, we choose Virginia Times Square Hotel. This is because Virginia Times Square Hotel is accessible by LRT, MRT, and Grab. It's also rated as five-star hotel, and it's, it also have all the facilities that we need. And it's also recommended for doing a hybrid event uh, meeting package. So this is the event layout that we have. Um, amongst the other choices that we have, we've specifically chosen Manhattan, the second one. And we have a total of 20 round tables, five packs per tables, according to the latest SOP uh, regulations. And um, it's extremely spacious. And yeah, next slide, please. Moving on to the platform that we'll be using for the live streaming on the day of the event, it'll be, uh, we'll be using the Zoom app uh, due to many reasons. Uh, firstly, being very convenient because we are all well-versed with the app. Second, with the multiple functions to run the event smoothly and with features such as the record button and a share screen system, it is also user-friendly and it is a trustable platform. Next. Just a brief uh, explanation on the virtual event concept. The MC will actually be on site, which is at uh, the hall and whereas we'll uh, cooperate along with our Zoom platform and our backend team at the console site, also at our uh, live event hall, uh, to have everything basically on time and real time uh, running. Next slide, please. So this is the rough event day flow. The MC will be on stage interacting and going through all the scripts needed. And then for, um, let's just say if there are any recorded uh, videos that are required to be played on, it can be played on at the same time, both on site and online as well. And lastly, it will all be broadcasted uh, on Zoom as well. So for the budget, this is the expenses as you can see. For the venue, uh, is included in the uh, is included with the photography, videography, and so uh, and the meals for all the attendees. There is marketing collateral collateral materials of expenses, miscellaneous interactive activities expenses and event highlight, and the others is for their welcome packs and uh food pack all that uh kind of things. Yeah. So for the income part. There will be sponsorship, which we targeting for four different kind of category, and there will also a ticketing for the income. So the total cost we use is seventy eight, uh, seventy eight thousand five hundred fifty, and total income is ninety, uh, ninety four thousand five hundred forty. So the net net profit is fifteen thousand nine hundred ninety. So for our marketing plans, first of all, we will be designing the collateral materials like banner, posters, tickets, etc. And after that, after we finalize all the designs, we will promote on the social media platform like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Next, please. So moving on to the collateral materials, the first is the e-ticket that will uh, be different design like color from one another for each session. And then next is for our online. Next slide. Is for our on-site is our poster and bunting that will be featured on-site as well as the poster that will be uh, given to our sponsors to promote our event itself. And then next is our materials for the online that will be shown on the LED screen such as the countdown, the thank you slide, the main holding slide, and the speaker's holding slide. And the next 
still for the online is the overlay for our live that will be featured on the LED. Also, the lower third for the MC and the speaker, and as well as the T-shirt with two options, black and white. Next. As we're doing an a hybrid event, there will be like a LED that will show like SOP slide, speaker slide, and thank you slide as well. And the next is our marketing timeline. So for the first one of our um, planning for marketing is the planning for our ticket promotion and sponsorship to be finalized. Then we will move on to the marketing design collateral. And then we will move on to promoting our early bird ticket launch. And then after the early bird ticket launch, we will start promoting on the event and the advertising um, of the event, as well as the social media countdown for the event. And this is our teammate member. Okay, so moving on to our risk management, uh, we will now cover the low risk levels. Uh, we will probably be facing uh, problems such as connection problems or technical errors. So we will be, uh, the solutions for that would be to ensure that the internet speed is tested earlier and to also have backup streaming platforms other than the Zoom platform. And the uh, person in charge of this would be the logistics department. For the medium level, we have two types. First of all, is time management. So we might unable to start and end the event on the set times. And the person will be affected is event crew. So we might need to conduct multiple dry runs to see how long is for each sessions. And for the accessibility parts, uh, we might lack of parking space for the attendees. So we might need to confirm the number of parking space and we will reserve the space for the participants. Both of these in charge is the logistics department. And now moving on to the high of risk management is such as the leak of personal data that will, the solution is for us to um, make a private Google form link. And then the other one is like for food poisoning. So we will have our medical team on standby. Um, the person in charge for this is the event manager and assisted by the event manager itself. So for the SWAT, our strength is we have experience in a strong network with the suppliers and we have a good teamwork. For the weaknesses, we lack of training in organize the hybrid events and we lack of finance. And for the opportunities, we might have an opportunity to learn about our slangos and we have greater risk. For the track, is hybrid events. Next, please. Here yeah, was proposed sponsor, we aim to let Grafford to be our Patino sponsor as well as the presenter sponsor. It's because the attendees will feel familiar and attract since Grafford is well-known company in food delivery field. For the gold sponsor, we have Magic Copper and Tourism Malaysia. For the Magic Copper, it gave more opportunity to let them promote their products such as Copper Mask. For the Tourism Malaysia, it gave them opportunity to promote domestic tourism by raising awareness of the destinations of Selengo. For the civil sponsor, we have Touch and Go because this can make the public have the cashless concept and also makes them to choose Touch and Go as their first choice. And for the in-kinds, we have Delta, which they can provide the hand sanitizer to the attendees and makes them to choose Delta as their first choice. Next, next we'll pay the sponsor package. We have the sponsor package, which is Platinum, Gold, Silver, Bronze, and in-kind. We also limited the quantity of each category for Platinum only available for one company. Gold is three, silver is 10, bronze and inkites are unlimited. And also, uh, the package basically is about all the correcting material which with their company logo stated inside and also the things will be announced during the events and before the events. Next. Next is the request letter we'll be sending out to the each company and request them to be our sponsor of the events. Next. We also send out the reply 
platform which have the basic information of the company and also what kind of package they want to have it after they reply to us. Next, I will pass it to Atira. Okay, that is the end of our presentation. We hope you guys um, listen to us 